Hello ladies and gentlemen. In today's video I'm going to show you how to round to the nearest whole number. As you can see we have three important tips that we need to remember when rounding decimals to the nearest whole number. The first thing we're going to do in order to round to the nearest whole number is to draw a line after the decimal point. So just to give you an example of this, if we had the number 4.7, 4 is going to be our whole number, here's our decimal point, and then we have a 7 in the tenths place. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to draw a line right here right after the decimal. That line helps you remember that the number in the tenths place is going to determine how you round the whole number. Which leads us to our second tip, and that is that if the number after the line is 5 or higher, you round the whole number up. That means if it's from 5 to 9, you're going to round up. And if the number after your line is 4 or less, you keep the whole number the same. So that means if it's 0 to 4, it's going to stay the same. In the case of this example, the 7 would round the 4 up to a 5. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Alright, so let's go ahead and get to work and started with some practice problems about rounding to the nearest whole number. Our first problem gives us 15.39 and asks us to round this decimal to a whole number. So our first step is to draw a line after the decimal and I know that I'm rounding this 15. So this 15 is either going to round up to a 16 or it's going to stay a 15. In order to determine that I'm going to look at the number after my line. In this case the number is 3. 3 is in between 0 and 4 which means that our number or our whole number is going to stay the same. So when I round this, this 3 keeps the 15 just a 15. I'm going to put my decimal point and then everything after that decimal point is going to turn to zeros. So right now I have 15.00. We don't actually need the zeros because the zeros represent a value of nothing. So 15.39 rounded to this nearest whole number is just going to be 15 and that's going to be our solution. Moving on to number 2. Number 2 gives us 6.824. Now the first step for rounding this decimal to a whole number is to draw my line. I know that the 6 is going to get rounded either up to a 7 or it's going to stay the same. In order to determine that I look at just the number behind my line. In this case the number is an 8. Now an 8 is in between 5 and 9, which means that I'm going to round up. So this 6 is going to get rounded up into a 7 because this 8 is in between 5 and 9, so it's closer to 7. So I'm going to round the 6 up to a 7, so I'm going to write 7 here. I'm going to put my decimal point right here, and then every number, every digit after that decimal point turns to 0 because we're rounding to the whole number. Now I don't need the zeros because they represent nothing, so I'm just going to write the number 7 and circle it because that is our whole number that is closest to 6.824. Finally, we're going to do number 3, which gives us 37.54. So again, we're going to round this to the nearest whole number, so we're going to draw my line after the decimal point. I'm going to round the 37 either up to a 38 or it's going to stay a 37. And I'm going to look at the digit or the number after my line. In this case it's a 5. And 5 is the most confusing because it's right in the middle. So you have to remember that a 5 is actually closer to rounding up than it is to staying the same. So a 5 is included in 5 to 9 which means that this is going to round up. So don't get confused just because 5's in the middle that you think maybe it stays the same, but 5's actually closer to 9 than it is to 0, so it rounds our number up. So our whole number 37 becomes 38 because we're going to round that 7 up, and then we're going to put our decimal point straight down, then we add the zeros again, and then we don't need the zeros like we've talked about, so our 37.5 rounded to this nearest whole number is going to be 38. And if you want to do some more practice problems on rounding decimals to the nearest whole number, go ahead and click the link in this video and you'll be taken to some quick practice problems that will give you a grade based on how you did. 
thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!